today. That was a fucking awesome day. A fucking liner went, slipped down there like, fuck it, it was like a fucking hooker. That fucking thing went right in there. It was like a, throwing a hot dog down a hallway until we got right to the end there. But it was good. Like, how long did that take us to put that liner in? Four hours? Four hours do a liner and change. It was a good day. And we had to stop and go to Legion and Rivers. That was pretty funny. Anyone want to talk about a small world? Small world, like. Hey, do you know a Coralie? Uh, yeah. She comes in here with my her, her mother all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, she'll be here in any minute. Any minute. Okay, any minute. Do you want to take over for a minute? I think she knew exactly who you were. So she just fucking ignored me? I think so. I don't think she knew how to approach you. I couldn't even look at her. I know. I think that's why she sat in the far back corner there, so she didn't no, have to. No, I'm pretty sure that's her fucking spot. No. In the fucking corner. She, like, put she her... deserves to be in the fucking corner. She put her jacket on the end of that table, and then all of a sudden she just moved it when you walked by. What, like I'm going to rob her? No, because she knows who you are and doesn't know how to approach you. Yeah, don't approach me. Exactly, that's why I said, let's get out of there. Like, how can a good day, like, we had the perfect day. The perfect day. We don't have very many perfect days. No, no, no. Something that's the thing. always ends up fucked up. Something always has to fuck it. And of all fucking days, it, it was too perfect. It was too fucking perfect. That fucking liner went in, blah, blah, blah. I didn't even care about the black stovepipe not fitting. Blah, blah, blah. Not an issue. I didn't even care. Come back. We can finish that with the car. And issue. No issues. It's not winter time yet. Nobody's yelling at anyone. Blah blah blah. Mom, Perfect. I don't think they use that very much because it's too hot in there. Though. And I'm pretty sure he put fucking moonshine in that fucking iced tea because I could taste that after when I burped. After drinking that iced tea, I'm pretty sure there was some shine in there. Well, props to that guy. But he told us to drink it after, after we're done been working. Yeah. So it wasn't beer. It was moonshine and tea <sighs> and. He probably I, watched you on camera drinking beer anyways. No, I was pretty careful. I seen the cameras right away. But four hours drop that liner and then go to the Legion. If if I didn't ask, that's the funniest you thing. You would have never known. Would you have known her if she walked in the door? No, I would have probably ignored her. But she sure stared you talked. down as she walked in the fucking door. Because she already fucking knew. Yeah, exactly. But she didn't say anything. She didn't say a fucking peep. Not a hello. Not a hi. Not a, oh, sorry, I haven't talked to you in 29 fucking years. Thank you, you fucking bitch. Oh, by the way, this is my mother we're talking about. My estranged mother who decided to up and fuck off and go trucking down in the States for, I don't know, as long as her back could hold it out. Like, what the fuck? My mother, I haven't seen her in 29 years. And we showed up at the right place at the right fucking time. But I asked the right question. 
I asked the right questions. That's fucked up. And you know what? She didn't say nothing to me. She didn't even fucking recognize me. Not even a hi or a hello. Like, whether you know me or not. Hi, hello. I think she recognized you. That's why there is no greeting. You think that's what happened? Because she kind of almost stopped dead when she looked at you. Yeah, she did stop dead. And then went to the table and then went to the bathroom. And she kept looking around the corner too. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she just doesn't know how to approach you after all this time realizing well, tell you the, the truth, bad if, if things my, she did. Bad things. Oh, it just disappeared for 29 years. And then, here you are. Oh, you're still alive. I thought you were dead, bitch. If my hand wasn't broken, uh, I would have been in jail. So there's a reason I pre-broke my hand. There's a reason I pre-broke my hand. Well, we know we can't stop at the Legion anymore. In no, Mars. we are going to no. stop there. No, we are going to stop there. Why? No. I'm going to stop there until she fucking acknowledges me. She's never going to acknowledge you. That's what you think? Well, I'll, I'll go there fucking... Every fucking day if I have to. Until she fucking says something so, to me. So, what do you want from it? I want acknowledgement that, hello, hi, you stupid bitch. You that cha- you're my mom. You, no, no. You change your fucking name. Bitch. You're a stupid bitch. You change your fucking first name and keep the last name. And you know what? You are no Zetterstrom. You are no fucking Zetterstrom. And Jordan isn't a Zetterstrom. He's a fucking Stanley. He's a fucking Stanley. Oh, I could go deeper with that one, but uh, who wants to deal with another crazy psychopath? Like, So maybe that's why she's not bringing anything up, because she knows it'll be blown out. She has the tenacity to change her first name. I'm thinking she was using a middle name, and this is her real name. Okay, when we look at my birth certificate, it's Joyce. It's Joyce. Why the fuck would she change her fucking name? So maybe she wants to go by her middle name now. What? Because she... What I'm thinking is she's keeping my last name because she thinks it's got some protection behind it. Gord's pretty up there. Yeah. Yeah. He is fucking up there, Big G. Even though he's getting fucking batshit crazy, he's up there. But the stupid... (sighs) I kind of want to just fucking shoot her myself. Get rid of that fucking bloodline. And she looks identical to Corley. Yes, I know. I've seen Corley on Facebook. Identical. She doesn't look anything like me. I don't look anything like her. She looks identical. I need to review the pictures a little bit better. Yeah, you're good at Facebook stalking. Fuck. But like, what the fuck? It went into a good day to the most shittiest fucking day I could imagine. In like, 15 minutes? Oh, just wait. It's going to get worse tomorrow. I, I should have kept my mouth shut and seen, like, where she lived. I should have been, like, placated. Like, hey, 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 oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I know her, but uh, where does she live now in town? But the Legion, 4 o'clock. Be there. Or be a fucking useless mother that leaves your kid behind for... Truck driver. Truck driver. Well, not even that. Like, not even a fucking call or anything. She just fucking left me. 
for two fucking years. Like, just nothing. Just I like to know the whole story behind it. You'd like to hear the whole story? Yes. Oh. I, if you listen to her story... No, look. You need to hear Gord's story, and you need to hear her story. Okay. Did Gord say maybe she could have no contact with you anymore? No, that's not what happened. She hooked up with this truck driver and then decided to disappear. No. So she went off truck driving, blah, blah, blah. I went for a run with them before she disappeared. We went down in the States, blah, 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 and traveled around. Uh, and then we came back up, and poof, she's gone for two fucking years. Calls me on Christmas Eve. Do you want to come to your grandparents' house for Christmas? Not to see you. Two years. Two fucking years. I haven't fucking talked to you once. And then you call me on Christmas. This is why I don't like Christmas. You understand why I don't like Christmas now? It's because this fucking emotional damage fucking kicks in and I fucking hate Christmas she fucking ruined it for me she fucking ruined it for me this stupid bitch and thou shall love thy mother fuck that thou shall kill this fucking stupid cunt you see why I don't like this fucking bitch she fucking ruined a lot of shit for me. Like, I'd love to have fucking Christmas feel like Christmas again, but it's not gonna happen. Because of this fucking... Oh, I'm just gonna disappear. Thanks. Thanks, you just... But now me. you're growing up, you need to make it work. Make it work? What, am I supposed to make a fucking men's with this bitch? No. To it, enjoy. Enjoy living without her. That's what I fucking, that's what I've been doing this whole fucking time. And then to see her again today, it just stirred up everything. It stirred up everything. Like, I haven't seen you in 20 fucking nine years. 29 fucking years. All of a sudden there. Oh, hi mom. What the fuck do you say to that? Like, what the fuck? You can't even say hi to your own son? I'm not talking to that bitch. So then you're never ever gonna celebrate any holidays again that mean anything? No, I can't. This is what happened. This is why I can't celebrate fucking birthdays or anything. Birthdays, Easter, Christmas, uh, Hanukkah. I don't fucking, I'm not Jewish. But like, literally. But like, you have it, to do that for your significant other. Right? I, I try, babe. I try, but sorry, there's some like trauma. And you can go, you know what? Go slap that bitch. Go slap that bitch in the face. And be like, thank you for not having holidays anymore. Go slap that bitch in the face. Thank her. This is why I don't fucking celebrate holidays. There's no Easter anymore. There's no fucking Christmas. There's no fucking birthdays. I don't give a fuck about any of those fucking things anymore. I haven't given a fuck about those things since I was seven years old. Yeah, I guess that's more than 27 years now. Last time I seen her is when I was seven. But how fucked up is that? Like, what a fucked up day. We had such a good thing going. It was so good. Oh, let's stop at the Legion. And, and then I had to open my fucking mouth. Oh, do you know so-and-so? Oh, yeah. And then bing, 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 bing. It's like, should I get a lottery ticket? 
because I'm pretty sure I'm going to win the fucking lotto. Nope, you have Jeff coming tomorrow and not winning any fucking lotto. If he says anything tomorrow, I will shoot him in the fucking face and I I'm will... I'm thinking I'm going to lock myself in the camper and he can sleep in the other bedroom. No. And then I don't have to No, he's off. sleeping in the fucking camper. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that bullshit tomorrow. I'm, I'm already a fucking train wreck right now. And if he even asks me for anything tomorrow. Oh, guaranteed who will. Guaranteed. Well, I'm going to have to use my left hand, apparently. I'll just kick his legs out from underneath him. This is bullshit. What a fucking day. I haven't seen my mother in fucking 29 years. And there she is, right there. Doesn't even fucking recognize me. You want to speak up? Yeah, it's fucking sad. And she has nothing to say. I couldn't even look at her. I had to stare at the table. I talked to everyone else at that table. But as soon as I looked at her, I had to stare right at the fucking table. That's some fucked up shit. Like, I literally couldn't look at her. Well, if I looked at her, her face would have been probably like just a blood smear across that fucking table. And they gave us beer bottles. <laughs> I was thinking about smashing a beer bottle and just jumping over that table and just fucking smashing a beer bottle over her face like I was going to fucking kill that bitch. I don't know. How would that play out in court? Emotional damage versus fucking murder. Oh, I guess you could say I was a... Uh, Something just came over me and I went fucking mental. But this isn't our last time going there. I'm gonna fucking put my face right in front of her again. Again. Do you see the method to the madness? Do you see the method to the madness? I just confront her. I, I, why me? She's the one who left. You know who she, she is. She doesn't know who the fuck you are. Oh, she does now. Obviously. Yes, I would think now. So who's going to be the bigger person? Why do I have to be the bigger Why do I? Okay, there's the fucking question. Why do I have to be the bigger person? You left me as a child. Who needs to be the bigger person? Hey, hey mom. What the fuck am I supposed to say? What the fuck am I supposed to say? Who needs to be the bigger person? You're an adult. I'm an adult now. But thanks, Mom, for fucking leaving me behind, bitch. You fucking useless cunt. Fucking useless. You just fucking leave me behind? Thanks. Thank you so much. Love the trauma. Love it. Hey, Robin, why do you drink beer so much? Eh, a little bit of column A. Mostly column A. No, oh, did I say B and A? Whatever. Fuck it. You know what I'm fucking talking about. This is just bullshit. But you know what? I want to go there. Keep going there until she says something. I'm going to get right in her face. What else, what else am I supposed to do? What's the better option, Sandra? Keep going there until she acknowledges me? I have no idea. Because I'm pretty much insane. No, you are <laughs> Sandra, have you left your kids? Are you still in contact with your kids? At least once a week. Well, except for Jonathan, but Jonathan, I don't know. He's been converted to uh, Minion. 
Was it minion? Yeah, he's a minion now. Good pass. I don't know, what am I supposed to say? And you know what? I have nothing to say. She has to say something first. Before I will ever say anything to her. Like, I was going to get you to say something to her to get her fucking talking. But no, that's wrong. I don't want to get you involved in that. It's not between you and her. It's between me and her. Right? Why oh, would definitely. I get, why between would I get you, you and involved? someone afterwards. She doesn't matter. I just want acknowledgement that I'm her son. And I'm not a fucking piece of shit. Maybe she thinks you want more from her than she can provide. That's why she's not saying anything. You know how much she fucking owes me? I looked it up the other day. $84,000. And that's being nice at $200 a month over the last fucking 29 years. That's 84. Oh, here, let me redo the math. Yeah, roughly around 80. Oh, 64. $64,000. And I'm being. Here, let me do the math again. No, I can't. Fuck. But you know what? I don't want anything from her. I don't, all I want is for her to acknowledge me as her son, but she can't even look at me. But maybe she needs to know that. She knew that when she walked in. Maybe it shocked her, too, seeing you there. Found you, bitch. Exactly. And I should have said something like that. Found you, bitch. Even if I was looking at you. But the Legion's not the right place to do that. I know. Don't fuck around at the Legion. Exactly. I sat outside having a smoke with that guy. Waiting for that fucking cow to come in. I can't really call her a cow. If that's a cow, you ain't getting any milk from that one. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Like, that's so fucked up. That is so fucked up. Like, today went so good, and that had to happen. Like I said, maybe you need to hear her side of the story. Her side of the story? I don't want to hear anything from her at all. Sandra, she left me. She just disappeared. Didn't tell Gord or anything. She just disappeared for two years. For two fucking years. Just disappeared. Why do I need to hear her fucking story? Imagine if you left your kids for fucking two years. Think about that. Imagine if you didn't talk to Logan or fucking Elizabeth for fucking two years. Just disappeared. Just fucking disappeared. Yeah, not a great feeling, eh? Not a fucking great feeling. I'm just saying, like... You see why I'm fucked up? You see why I don't have fucking kids? Because I don't want shit like this to happen to my fucking kids either. I don't want my fucking kid's mom fucking just up and leaving and disappearing somewhere. My mom just fucking left, up and left. It's sad. It's fucking so fucking sad. Like, 
I don't know what to say. A fucking stupid bitch really fucked up my life. And Big G's wondering, why are you so fucked up? <laughs> why am I so fucked up? I grew up with a mom who left me. Like, fuck. Like, what the fuck do you think I'm fucked up for? Like, I couldn't even fucking look at her in the face. That's, that's the funny part. I could not look at her in the face. I knew that's her. I couldn't look at her. And there's some things like, get a good look at her, get a good look at her. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't even look at her. I had to stare at the fucking table. Like, how fucked up is that? You can't even look at your own mother. Fuck, I, w I was hoping she was dead. I can't wait till she's fucking dead. I'm gonna fucking take a fucking big fucking hot deuce on their fucking grave. Can't fucking do this shit anymore. How the fuck is she still alive? Thing's fucking useless. I really don't know what to say. I don't know what what are your thoughts when you when whatever whatever she's calling herself now walked into the room. What are your thoughts? You can feel the tension. You can feel the tension, so she knew. Oh yeah, definitely. I just don't don't think she knew how to approach you or scared on how you would react. Should I told her I had a broken hand and I can't punch her in the face? No, I don't think that's... I still got a good left hook, though. I don't know. I don't know what to say about any of that. That just completely fucked my day over. And you know what? It's probably fucked my whole fucking week up. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Sandra, like... Have to put up with Jeff, and you fucked up. Awesome. Just lock myself in the bedroom and be done with it. How did like? Okay, it it's too good to be true. Uh, it yeah. is, and then boom, that happens. Oh, that that was so easy. It only took us four hours. Bang. Oh. That was a type of feeling today. You did have that type of feeling? Yes. That's why I don't want to get out of bed. That's why I said I had COVID. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm just fucking. I'm at a loss here. I don't know what to do. So, would you. If you could sit down and talk to her, would you? Uh, there would have to be a mediator, uh, person in between. Mediator? Um, like, you in between us? And I mean, like, in between us. Because yes. if I sit next to her, I'm gonna fucking strangle a bitch. But like I said, why oh, did she oh. leave in the first place? And then leave her kids to fucking give me gifts for my birthday James oh James or Corley oh here's Easter here's here's your Christmas present where's mom I don't know are you fucking kidding so me? who brought them up your grandpa and grandma he's a pedophile yes I know you told me that so I got my Siblings who were raised by a pedophile. Uh, and you don't talk to either one of those. I don't ones, talk right? to either of those. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked up. I'm sorry. Like, 
it's really fucked up and today just got really 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 fucked up but that's not what i asked i said would you sit down with her Corley and talk james and Corley? civilly no, no your mother not your brother and sister your mother no we need a mediator for sure but even still you need to talk civilly between you and her and see what's up. She abandoned you for two fucking years. She abandoned then, you for 28 well, no, years. Here, here, here. No, she abandoned me, called me on Christmas Eve, and then decided that, oh, I could just come back into your life. And you just abandoned me for fucking two years. Did she have, like, drug issues? or? I'm hoping issues? she had fucking drug issues. I'm hoping... Because the only fucking thing that would explain that. Like, was she fucking addicted to meth or something? Like, And then, fuck. did Gord hide you away from her? If he knew that? Well, her father was a fucking pedophile. Yes, I understand that. So, that's why I was fucking taken away. So, maybe that's why she couldn't have contact with you? Because her dad was a pedophile? No. That's not why. Because she asked me... Come out to the farm where the pedophile is to have Christmas. But maybe Gord After... said no. No, I said no. I remember this conversation. I was nine years old. I remember this conversation. You can. Li- I was seven years old when she disappeared. Yes. The phone conversation. Here's your mom. Hi, hey, mom. What's up? You want to come to Christmas? Have Christmas Eve at the farm? Well, if you can live without me for two years, you can live out, live without me for the rest of your life. Click. That was the conversation. That easy. Done. Why the fuck would I want to go to that fuck face's house? You're going to disappear for two years and then ask me to come to the pedophile's house? That's awesome. Thank you. So maybe that's why she never contacted you again. No, she fucking just... Fuck her. Fuck her. I'm not fucking dealing with shit like that. They're all dead now. That pedophile's fucking dead. And you know what? I won't put a fucking foot on that fucking property. I don't give a shit. Tell you the truth. I won't even... Put a word out of my mouth if I see her. It's not worth it. She's not going to talk to me for two years? Why would I talk to her? Do you hear me speak a word to her today? No. Then it shouldn't bother you if you don't want to talk to her. Then who the fuck cares who she is? No, what bothers me is that she was there. And I found her. But that's her place, right? She lives there. Perfect. So I can go there and fucking fuck with her shit all the time now. I can go sit there and have a beer. Keep my mouth shut. Walk away. Just like she did. Sure. I'm not dealing with that shit anymore. I'm gonna fuck her shit up now while I still have the fucking energy to do it. Fuck. I knew today was too fucking good to be true. Just knew something was gonna fuck all that shit up. 